The UN General Assembly was a scene of a massive war of words between India and Pakistan this week. Pakistan actually called India the mother of terrorism at the United Nations. Mr. President, if the international community wishes to avoid a dangerous escalation between India and Pakistan, it must call on India to halt its provocations and its aggressive actions. It must end the ceasefire violations along the LOC. It must halt its sponsorship of terrorist groups inside Pakistan. All this establishes that India is the mother of terrorism in South Asia. Yes, you heard that right. Pakistan called us the mother of terrorism. That's like Dinchak Puja calling Taylor Swift the mother of cringe pop. Come on, Pakistan, let's get real, guys. Is anybody surprised that Pakistan bought up Kashmir in the UN? As the famous saying goes, there are only three certainties in life. Death, taxes, and Pakistan bringing up Kashmir in UN. It is unfortunate that India has chosen to criticize the statement by the Prime Minister of Pakistan, which reflects the sentiments and aspirations of the oppressed and suffering people of Jammu and Kashmir, facing tyranny, repression, and brutalities of illegal and unjust occupation by India. India's foreign minister deliberately ignored the core issue of Jammu and Kashmir. Thus, India's military occupation of the state is illegal. These allegations are designed principally to deflect global attention away from the brutalities being perpetrated by India's over half a million occupation force against innocent and unarmed Kashmiri children, women and men in Indian-occupied Jammu and Kashmir. The United Nations treats Pakistan like the old grandma in your neighborhood. <laughs> they pretend to listen to her rambling on about the same thing over and over again. But in truth, we all know she lost her marbles a long time ago. <laughs> in fact, Pakistan's diplomacy for the last half century can be summed up in three words. What about Kashmir? <laughs> no matter what complaint you raise, they counter it with what about Kashmir? <laughs> listen, you're using terrorists to attack us. What about Kashmir? You're giving safe havens to India's most wanted men. What about Kashmir? You're selling nukes to f North Korea. What about Kashmir? Hey, when will you win the World Cup again? What about Kashmir? I don't know why Pakistan even bothers sending diplomats to these meetings. Pakistan, save everybody's time. Just set up a permanent stall right outside the UN with a huge sign that reads, What about Kashmir? <laughs> The funny thing is, despite all this complaining from Pakistan, the UN never discusses Kashmir. They continue to treat it as an internal issue. <laughs> Pakistan, I'm not saying no means no, but it's been 40 years of rejection. Take a hint, will you? <laughs> also, you'd think if your diplomats are asked to focus on just one issue, they'd at least do that well, right? Wrong. Pakistan has managed to embarrass itself at the world stage by using a fake photograph in an effort to take a dig at India at the UN General Assembly. Pakistan's permanent representative uh, to the UN, Maliha Lodi, showed a picture of a seriously injured woman to point at Indian democracy, except this photograph is not from India. So-called democracy is the world's largest hypocrisy. This, Mr. President, is the face of India's democracy. Well, that picture that she is uh, chosen to represent India at, at the United Nations is actually of a 17-year-old girl named Ravia Abu Joma, who was injured when two Israeli airstrikes hit her apartment in Gaza during 2014's war. Okay, if you're going to call a picture the face of India's democracy, the least you can do is make sure that the face is that of an Indian. <laughs> Pakistan, we all know that you guys are terrible at sports, making movies and governing. But false propaganda was the one thing you're supposed to be good at. <laughs> it seems like you now suck at that too. <laughs> now, if you get caught red-handed like this Pakistani diplomat, you would have no choice but to apologize, right? Not her. <laughs> she doubled down on her antics. Our bureau chief from Islamabad is live with us now. Taha, this of course comes as a huge embarrassment for Pakistan. How is this news being uh, reported or taken back in uh, Pakistan at this point? 
Well, uh, basically, uh, I mean, definitely it, it is a sort of a goof on her part. And in that sense, uh, that aspect is being reported in, in Pakistan. Uh, but the mainstream channels are also uh, talking about, you know, um, another aspect with related to this. And they're saying that even though she did pick up uh, the photo that she picked up uh, was uh, from uh, Gaza and not from uh, Kashmir, uh, despite that, uh, there are there are widely, uh, uh, you know, uh, images widely available uh, of that, you know, uh, pellet guns used. And, and that basically was the impression that she was trying to give in that speech of hers that this is what is happening in Kashmir. Here's the thing. If you guys actually wanted pictures of pellet gun victims from Kashmir, you could have easily gotten it. You could have sourced it from a very rarely used high-tech source called Google. <laughs> Guess you don't have that in Pakistan, do you? <laughs> also, two can play this game, Pakistan. If showing irrelevant pictures to score propaganda points is fair game, then I also have some pictures to show to the UN. I hope all of you folks at the United Nations General Assembly are paying close attention. Here's a picture that proves Pakistan's atrocities in Balochistan. <laughs> and here's evidence that Pakistan is giving safe havens to terrorists. <laughs> and here's a shocking picture that shows Pakistan is testing nuclear missiles. <laughs> And did you guys watch External Affairs Minister Sushma Suraj's response to Pakistan's claims? Sushma ji was on fire. If you haven't seen it, let me sum up her rebuttal for you. India has IIT, Pakistan has LET. <laughs> India has IIM, Pakistan has JEM. We have aims, they have no f***ing brains. Oh, but they do have one aim and only one aim. Kashmir! That's the show. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you next week. To watch the full episode of Let's Get Real, tune into Weon at these times.